I've been watching Joe Biden go down, this being July 18th, 2024. I've been predicting for months. I wish I could remember when I started exactly, but it's been months that, uh, that Biden was going to drop out of the presidential race due to physical infirmity. Uh, and my friends, uh, so many of them are afraid of changing horses and they're afraid of change in this regard. And they get mad at me, so I've kind of shut up about it. I don't post on Facebook that I think it's time. So many people are clamoring for it now and the voices are getting louder. This fellow, uh, Dave, David Axelrod, uh, who used to be an advisor to, uh, to Barack Obama, has sort of led the charge, and then uh, there are many others. But as I watch this unfold, uh, it fascinates me, but it also threatens me, because he's 81, I'm 85. I know that I'm uh, not the man I was uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and I, I work really hard at, at keeping what I've got left, uh, going to water aerobics three times a week and gardening vigorously and so forth. But uh, I watched Lester Holt, uh, who's a correspondent, interview uh, Joe Biden a few days ago. And I just asked uh, Alexa and reassured myself that his age is his age is 65 and he sat there face to face with uh, uh, Joe Biden with whom I th think he had cordial relations it appeared that way and I watched the two going back and forth and what I saw was that Joe Biden uh, could clearly relate to what uh, uh, he was being asked uh, and respond promptly, quickly. Uh, his mind wandered a little bit a, a few, a couple of times, but younger people have that happen to them too. Uh, that's called being tangential, my uh, ex-wife psychologist taught me. Uh, but he was actually relating to what uh, uh, he was being asked. Uh, he just looks old. And that's what Axelrod was saying yesterday. There's no escaping that. And there's no rehabilitating that. Going out, rushing out, and showing people you can still make a speech with or without a teleprompter uh, isn't going to solve the problem. The problem is the optics. The optics are horrible horrible and now the pressure is mounting and mounting and if I were a betting man I would be looking for a place to bet a hundred dollars that he will drop out before the first of August uh, which is now only uh, 18 from 31 is what uh, is that 13 days uh, he's going to be gone and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. But in the meantime, it's threatening to me to see this all unfold. Uh, I know I'm mortal. I know not, I'm not as young as I used to be, but to have this just incessant uh, talking about what's he gonna do? And did he have a hard time climbing up the stairs into his plane? yesterday and did he have a hard time climbing down the stairs and what's who's encouraging him to quit and is Nancy Pelosi going to come out with a stronger statement and of course perhaps uh, one of the hammers in all this is uh, Barack Obama how much more aggressive is he or is he not going to become uh, Joe Biden told Lester Holt that he had not talked with Barack Obama for two weeks. Uh, and that was two and a half weeks after the disastrous debate. So he's not getting a 
private encouragement from Obama to stay in. Uh, I think maybe if, if uh, Chuck Schumer, uh, the minority leader in the Senate, and Nancy Pelosi and uh, Barack Obama all sat down together in a press conference and said, we love you, Joe, but it's time to go. Maybe that would be the coup de grace. I don't know, but it's going to come. It's going to come, and I'm ready for it.